welcome my viewers my listeners to yet another part of all journal journeys thank you all for joining in thank you all for liking listening leaving a comment and letting others know about part what all journal journeys today i just want to talk about being surrounded sometimes you feel like the walls are caving in and you feel so surrounded and you know you feel like christ god is so silent but sometimes the silence of god means that he's working it doesn't mean that he's absent but means that he's working behind the scenes and when i'm talking about being surrounded it brings me back to when i just came to um, saskatchewan canada and you know leaving your home behind your loved ones and not really knowing how everything is going to work itself out you're feeling overwhelmed the persons who you're close to they're either moving away to another city or they're just moving away from you and God in his infinite wisdom he surrounds you and what comes to mind is when Elijah said to his servant it's just because there are scales on your eyes and you can't see that there is more for us than those who are against us you just need to remove the scales from your eyes and see that the Lord has surrounded us with his angels carrying fiery swords protecting us from all sides and at that time when I felt so surrounded by situations and trials and tr struggles that I felt like I just couldn't, you know, overcome. Now when I look back, I, I can see where God surrounded me. He surrounded me in his own way with a lot of pastors. Pastor Lola and Pastor Duncan you know surrounded me pastor des and his wife cheryl surrounded me pastor tim and his wife ever surrounded me pastor kevin sawaski and his wife surrounded me pastor sam tim and mary tim surrounded me oh my god i could just continue pastor tenny araba and gabe araba surrounded me and my local pastor back home, Pastor Watson and the, the leadership deaconess and deacons team there and the congregation, they surrounded me. So even when my walls feel like they were just <gasps> coming in and I felt surrounded, even like a time like now when so many things are happening locally, internationally, around the world and we feel surrounded. I'm here today to tell you that there is a resurrected King and the same power that resurrected Christ Jesus is able to resurrect us from every dead situation so you may feel like you're surrounded you may feel like you're going under or things are not working out how they're supposed to work out you may feel like God is silent but he's not absent he's still in control He's still working things out for the good of those who are called according to his purpose and his will. God is still sovereign. He does what he wants, when he wants, wherever he wants, to whomever, whomever he wants to do. He's sovereign God. And for those times when I felt like I was surrounded by wrong things or surrounded by dismal situations, I was clothed, I was fed, I was sheltered, I was prayed for, I was cared for, I was encouraged and I was motivated. So now when I am, I have been strengthened with that assurance and the hope that there is truly a sovereign God and wherever you are or wherever you might be on your journey with him is always surrounding us with his angels 
that will help our feet not to stumble help us to look to him always from the hill from whence our help cometh from it comes from the lord god almighty so even though you know he is bigger than us he is sovereign he uses his people to bring us comfort in trying times in times of darkness in times when there is no solace and you need peace he sent forth his people my local pastor continued to be a strength for me and you know continued to pray me up and pray me through and my congregation back home my church mothers they continue to pray for me the pastors here that he used to surround me and pastor peter and all the persons in my circle who have been given oversight over me i just want to say thank you and even though it may look like i am surrounded i'm only surrounded by god so i stand in that assured hope that everything will work itself out continuously because god never fails he is our awesome jehovah he never fails so look into your situation look into everything that's troubling you and you can triumph over it if you look at the picture like everything that's surrounding you it's only god being there it's only god is he's he, he's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ever ask or imagine so no matter what the trials and tribulations and the testings of our faith that will come we have a hope and a character building testing testimony that our god has conquered it all and with that hope in him the resurrected king we are able to say God is also resurrecting us today. Nothing is impossible with God Almighty. I've been through trials, I've been through tribulations, and here I am. His child, his chosen vessel, his workmanship. You know, I have hope in the Lord, hope in Christ Jesus. And I'm so awestruck. I'm surrounded by God, by His people. I'm surrounded by so much love. Whatever comes my way each day as I journey, I'm not afraid. I give thanks in every situation. I'm learning to keep my eyes and my gaze continuously fixed on, you know, the higher calling that is in Christ Jesus. I'm not grounded. I'm soaring like an eagle. And when you talk about rich in Christ, when you're rich in Christ, you have joy, you have abundant peace, peace beyond all understanding. In the midst of storm and circumstances and then the uncertainty of what is happening in the midst of our world at this time when we trust our sovereign god unconditionally his way maker his promised people he is light in the darkness thank you for listening to this session i'm surrounded by pat what all journal journals thank you for listening thank you for liking thank you for leaving a comment and letting others know about patwood all and my journal journeys i'll see you next time god bless you richly richly <laughs> stay focused stay in the presence of god stay in his word and be resurrected as he has been resurrected he is sovereign he knows what he's doing. He's still in control. All we need to do is trust our risen Savior and all is well. Bless you. Stay focused. Keep listening and liking. Pat with all journal journeys. Bye.